Hi there, it's Nicole McGuirk. This is one of my most requested tutorials, and so I thought I would just do a video just showing how I create these photo grid collages in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS4. Um, I don't know how that'll translate to your particular program, and I am definitely not an expert on Photoshop at all, but this is how I create those photo grids, and I hope this will work for you as well. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do to make a photo collage is I've opened up a bunch of photos that I think I might possibly use. And this is probably more than what I will eventually end up with, but I just kind of open up a bunch. These are all from August of 2010, and I'm just going to open up things I think I might use. And then as I work, I'll probably delete a few and go from there. So I'm going to go over here in my toolbar and click crop. And I'm going to crop this photo and I want to change some of my settings. So I'm going to change the width to one inch and the height to one inch and my resolution to 300. Because I'm going to be printing this out, I want it to be at a pretty high resolution and this is the recommended resolution for printing. And then I'm going to sim simply um, just start over here. I'm just going to click and drag. And if this is where I want it, I'll just go ahead and click the little check mark for OK. Now everybody, any, all the different photo editing software may be different, so I'm not going to go too much into how the Photoshop CS4 works, which is what I'm working in, but rather most programs have something similar for cropping your photos, I believe. At least the Photoshop or Photoshop elements do. Here is where I would want to make any adjustments to my photo. So if I want to maybe lighten it or whatever, I could do that. Now I am going to just sharpen it. I usually like to, oops, I usually like to do an unsharp mask just to kind of sharpen those edges if I don't do anything else. I'm going to go up into my toolbar and I'm just going to make a new, doc, new document. And I know I'm going to be using an 8.5 by 11 sheet of photo paper. Um, that will be about as big as I possibly need. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the width 11 inches and the height eight and a half. That way it's a landscape format. So here is my new document. I'm just going to pull that over here a little bit to the side. I'm going to go back to my photo that I cropped and I'm going to click it and just simply drag it to my new document. And then from there I can move it anywhere I want. So I usually just kind of start up in one corner and leave my photo there. So I'm going to go back to where I have all of my photos and I'm going to click the next one that I want to use. So um, I usually don't, they kind of open in order and I don't really want to use them exactly in order. So I'll just click through here and I'm going to click on another one, click and drag, crop, make any adjustments that I want to make. And then I'm just going to go back and to my little pointer here on my cursor, click the photo, and drag it to my new document. I'm going to line it up perfectly with that first photo. And you can see there isn't any gap here in between. I'm just going to take my arrow keys on my keyboard and just pop that over one space. And you can see this tiny little white space. Oops. I guess I'll redo that now. Um, I tend to like the little white space, not a really, for these particular collages, you could also do some with more white space or maybe you've downloaded a template or something that has more. Um, I find that I kind of like this just for these particular collage, month and review collages. Okay, one other thing I'm going to show real quick that I like to do a lot 
go back here to the beginning. I was thinking there was a photo here that I wanted to use. Oh, it's maybe back here. If you have a photo that you want to maybe use a little bit differently, like, for example, you want it to be more of a portrait instead of the landscape mode. Go to another one. Okay, I think it was this one. Or this one. And just kind of, I am going to do this one just a little bit different, but it will still work within the, the grid that I'm creating that I'm using, or the style, I guess. I'm going to go to crop, and instead of one inches in width and one in height, I'm going to change the height to two inches. And then I'm going to grab, or click, and drag, again, and hit crop. So now my photo is kind of a long, skinny photo going to grab it with my cursor and I'll pull it over here to the page. Now this probably isn't particularly where I would put it. Normally I usually kind of put it at the bottom of the, the grid, but you can see I lined it up with the photo above it and pop one space. So you could do a whole row of these more vertical style photos that way. So I'm going to go ahead and keep working like this and I'll show you how it's coming together as I go. Okay, so here is how my grid collage is coming together for August of last year. And you can see I filled in almost all of my collage. I have a couple spaces left. Um, I just moved things around like this photo had originally been over here. But I kind of think it's visually more appealing with the smaller photos on top and the longer ones on the bottom. If you had even more photos, you could um, break that up. Oops. You could break this up into maybe two sections or something like that. There's been months where I've used lots more photos than this, and so I've made the collages like in a couple of sections just to break up all the teeny tiny photos. So I'm going to go over here, and I've already pre-cropped pre the last two. I'm just going to drag it over here into the document. And then I'm going to move him up here where I want it. And then I just simply use my arrow buttons to move that photo right into place. And you can see it has the nice little white border. Oops, all the way around. Well, it did have the nice little white border. There we go. And then one last photo. And I'm going to move it right there into place. Pop it over just one, and you can see it has that lovely grid all the way across. Okay, now when I do this, down here in my Layers palette, you can see all of the layers. So if I needed to move anything, I could click on any individual photo and move it if I needed to. But this is great. This is how I want it to be. So when I get to this point, I usually flatten my image so that, so that none of this can be moved. And then I go ahead and simply print this photo on my printer like you would print any document. I, of course you want to make sure and follow the photo set paper settings for the photo paper that you're using. But this is how I create the photo. Thanks for watching.